Bill Curry's team with the longest win streak in the nation now and 12 wins in a row. It's a Southern style shootout, and it's a landmark event in Alabama, and it's coming up next. Hair Stadium, cold and cloudy. However, it should be duly noted that just moments ago, the clouds parted overhead, and blue sky was above as we get started for Alabama and Auburn. Auburn has won the toss and elected to receive. So Philip Doyle will kick, standing at the goal line for Auburn is Alexander Wright. Wright from the five. over the top and Auburn drives right down the field for an opening score. Win Lyle now with the extra point. He drills it. 7 nothing Auburn.
way through the first quarter. Seven and three. Auburn Sugar Bowl may have to face a decision as to which team to invite to New Orleans. Be no decision of all, of course, at all, should Alabama win this game. But if Auburn wins and Tennessee wins, then it could be a three. It would be a three-way tie. Spoke yesterday with Sugar Bowl executive director Mickey Holmes, and he assured me there is no formula going into today. The Sugar Bowl has two representatives at the Tennessee game and two here at Auburn, including the Sugar Bowl president, Jim Flower. All of the mechanics are set up for them to make a decision, a conference call after the games involving the team selection committee of 17 people. And they will try to select the team they believe is the highest ranked team. That should Auburn win this one. Can you imagine? I can be walking across the shopping center parking lot in July, and I can have an 80-year-old matriarch walk up and say coach I would just like to hug you I'm an Alabama fan and of course I said well fine that's wonderful I appreciate it and then whispered into my ears this beat Auburn you've got to beat Auburn Stacy has the first down to the 26 yard line it was a bundle on the tail end of that and let's see officials, but Elton Billingsley, number 47 of the Tigers, came out with the ball. He was still up when the ball came loose. Watch 47 here, Pat. Looks like he walks off with the football. Yeah. There's the ball loose right there. there. And he's still moving forward. And then 47 Billingsley gets taken right there. That should have been Auburn's ball. Well, when you're 0-3 against Auburn, it means everything. It's our last shot of redemption, I guess you could say. And going down there, it makes it all the more special. Speed of my last year. Uh, it will give me a little leeway uh, with the guys that I know go through down there. Uh, they won't maybe wreck me the rest of my life. Uh, that's something, but uh, to win a championship to be 11-0, that's more important than that right now. game history in the making so a special ticket was designed about twice the size of a regular ducket also this has been printed on t-shirts hundreds of them made up before and sold for the last six months
open. It's Marco Battle, touchdown. John Wiley has man-to-man -man coverage. You see him go over late to cover Marco Battle. But watch what happens to him. Laurent, Lamont Russell, the tight end, actually picks him off, and that allows Battle to run free across the end zone for the touchdown. That is a defensive back's nightmare, and I have to question the legality of it all, guys. Back
with his second touchdown today. Auburn people today, made a journey they never thought they'd make in their lifetime. And that's what means the most. Our people came home, came to Mecca, then the promised land. And we may not win the game, but we're equal. For the first time in 50 years, we're equal. We dictate the terms where we play our home game. All right, is that your game, Tell? <laughs> this is a good hook and a, and a sweat towel. <laughs> first and ten. Hollingsworth the Turner. Defenders slip momentarily. Turner fumbled the football. Recovered by Auburn. Dennis Wallace on the recovery. One 
official is yeah. indicating he's going to rule it down as an interception. Yep. It is an interception over. way tie the way it's going the sugar bowl birth from the sec that that is very much up in the air at this point and national championship implications a loss by alabama obviously eliminates the tie but an auburn win would keep notre dame in the picture And it's good. 
in with 10 wins, no losses, but still now walks away with his first loss of the year and has not beaten Auburn. Thank you. 